Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan and welcome back to the Overwatch League Roundup. Stage 3, Week 4 Preview. So, I want to cover something just before we go into the fixtures for this week. The rumours are back about a uh, triple 2 roll-lock coming in for Stage 4. Um, take it with a pinch of salt, in my opinion, because we heard it before Stage 3, it never happened. The Overwatch League categorically ruled it out, and... It would be ill-advised, I think, to do it before the end, of, before the start of stage four, simply because I think really now you've got to run the rest of the season goats, unless the meta organically changes through the teams changing it. Otherwise, if you force that, that could really turn the league on its head. And as much as perhaps some people don't like the dominance of the Shock or the Vancouver Titans, it would be kind of unfair to turn the league on its head like that because that could make those teams suffer and you could see the Excelsior, the Spitfire and teams like that rejuvenate in a triple two based meta where we'll see DPS, you'll see Bird Ring on the Widow and stuff like that. And it would re certainly revit revitalize the fusion. So I would take it with a pinch of salt because I don't think the Overwatch League would do that. If they do, it's gonna make for an incredible stage four, but I don't think they would do that just before the end of a season we might see it for next season but not for this season i don't think i think i think we're beyond that now if they'd done it before stage three i could understand it but just before stage four it's kind of a bit late in the day to start making really really impactful changes like that so take it with a pinch of salt it might happen it might not but a good deal of caution is to be advised when reading into those rumors Moving on though, this week will be a slightly shorter week than usual. There are 14 games instead of 16. We are approaching the end of the stage. Next week we will go to Atlanta and there will be substantial lesser games than there have been in the rest of the stage. But there are 14 games this week. So we kick off week four on Friday, June the 28th at 1.30 a.m. BST. All, time in, all times are British summertime with the Hangzhou Spark taken on the Los Angeles Valiant. This should be a pretty close game. The Valiant are on a real run of form right now, but also the Spark are as well. I think the Spark should have the quality to see to get past the Valiant, but I think we could see a five mapper here, especially with the Valiant doing as well as they are. After this, we have at quarter past three, the Paris Eternal taking on the Soul Dynasty. Hmm. Must win for Paris Eternal. Not an easy game though. Uh, if if Soul do what they what they did against the Spark the other week, who knows what to prepare for because. They've got a 12-man roster. Uh, Paris, they can do it, but I would back Sol right now to see through that one. At 5 a.m., we have the San Francisco Shock taking on the Chengdu Hunters. Again, this should be a fairly easy win for the Shock, you would expect, but Chengdu could cause an upset. Moving on, Saturday, June the 29th, at 1.30 a.m., we have the London Spitfire in action against the Los Angeles Valiant. Hmm, this could be a close affair, and... With the Valiant's current run of form, they could really upset the Spitfire here. It's a must win for Spitfire if they want stage playoffs, that's that's without a doubt, because their game later in the week is a darn sight harder than that one. So, it's a very hard one to call. I think actually I might I might pick the Valiant for this one. Uh, I think they might upset the Spitfire here, especially if we see the Spitfire from last week who are trying to feel their way into a new comp. Moving on, at quarter past three, we have the Toronto Defiant taking on the Los Angeles Gladiators. Toronto look all over the place right now. The Gladiators look fairly steady, so I would expect the Gladiators to win this and win this quite comfortably. Moving on, 5am, we have the Houston Outlaws taking on the Washington Justice. Now, if you'd asked me early last week, I would have said this would have been, would have been an absolute walkover the, over for the Outlaws. But then they went and lost to Florida. So, who knows what Houston Outlaws is going to turn up. Uh, all I know is Dallas are probably going to lose quite heavily this week, so maybe the Outlaws will win. Because that's how it goes. You can't have the two Texas teams doing well at once. One of them does well, one of them does badly. So I would expect an Outlaws win, but it could be quite close. Talking of the fuel, at 8pm on that Saturday, we have the Dallas fuel taken on the New York Excelsior. If Dallas Fuel are anything to go by right now, this should be a 4-0 for the Excelsior, but who knows. Um, the Fuel are looking in a really sticky place right now. They need to start picking up wins, but I doubt whether that's going to come against the Excelsior, and this is their only game this week. 
Moving on, at quarter past ten, we a quarter to ten, sorry, we have the Boston Uprising taking on the Philadelphia Fusion, a rematch. Uh Boston lost narrowly last week. Uh I think they could get the win here with a bit more prep. I think they need to get the win here. And the win over Paris at the end of last week, I think, will really boost them going into this game against the Fusion. So I think Boston might win this one. But it should be a fairly close match. At half past 11, we have the Florida Mayhem taking on the Hangzhou Spark. Now, by no means do I think the Florida Mayhem are rejuvenized after that win over the Houston Outlaws. And it's really a not an easy game to come into just after you've got some momentum. I think they will lose to the Hangzhou Spark. But maybe they will take a map just through that momentum that they got from the Houston Outlaws win. That is Florida's only game this week. Moving on to Sunday, June the 30th, we have, at quarter past one in the morning, Shanghai Dragons taken on a Guangzhou charge. So, this should be an interesting one. Guangzhou look kind of up and down right now. They got a good win last week, though. Shanghai Dragons, they did lose to the Valiant earlier in the stage. But I think Shanghai should be able to see out a win here over the Guangzhou charge. But Guangzhou are quite capable of causing an upset. Maybe a 3-1 here for the, for the Shanghai Dragons. At 8pm on the same day, we have the game of the week, which is the Los Angeles Gladiators taking on the Vancouver Titans. So, Vancouver Titans were handed their first loss last week of the regular season by the, uh, by the Los Angeles Valiant, and now they have to take on the neighbours of the Valiant, the Gladiators. Gladiators are on paper a much tougher opponent than the, Valiant, than the Valiant, and if the Gladiators can harness the sombre pl play that we've been seeing from a lot of teams right now, then the Titans really could have a rocky time here. I don't know which way to call this one. The loss against the Valiant has really thrown things up in the air for the Titans. I will go for a Titans win, but I think it will be quite close. It all depends on what comps the Gladiators run. If they run some wacky stuff, if they force the Titans onto DPS, if they force Titans especially onto the Sombra Goats, then we could see the Gladiators take down the Titans here. But it all depends on what they roll out with on the day. Next up, we have the London Spitfire taking on the San Francisco Shock at a quarter to ten that day. So, I told you the game for London Spitfire, the second game this week, was a lot, lot harder. London Spitfire won't play next week, so this is their final two games of the stage. If London can go one and one this week, that will be the ideal stage I saw for them at the start of the stage, which would leave them on a 4-3 and three record. It might not be playoffs worthy, considering their uh, map differential, but if they can make the game against Shock close, and they can get a good win over the Valiant, say 3-1 or even 4-0, then we could see Spitfire in the stage playoffs. I think they're an outsider right now. Could Spitfire upset the Shock? I don't think so. And the reason I say that is because Shock, I think, are more accomplished on the DPS comps than Vancouver are. If we could see that London take on Vancouver, and then London force Vancouver onto Sombra Goats or DPS, we might see London upset Vancouver. But I don't think they can do the same to the Shock. Because I think the Shock are pretty capable in whatever comp you throw at them. So I would expect a Shock win here. Hopefully London can make it close. But we must remember that London haven't played Shock this year. So, who knows? They might get completely swept because they don't know what to go up against. And this is what worries me about the Spitfire game against the Valiant. If they prepare too much for the Shock game, they might overlook the Valiant and the Valiant will sneak a win there. And suddenly you're looking at a 3-4 and four stage for London, which is definitely going to be outside the stage playoffs, I would have thought. Moving on, we have at half past 11, Houston Outlaws taking on a Toronto Defiant. So, this is definitely, and must be, a 2-0 week for the Houston Outlaws. If they want A, stage playoffs, because that will almost guarantee them stage playoffs. B, if they want to get back in the running for the play-ins and the overall play in their overall standings. They have to go 2-0 this week, because Washington are a poor team and so are Toronto right now. Houston have to take advantage of that. They cannot do what they did against Florida. I will stick my neck out and say if they go, if they lose the games this week, Houston, they are out of the overall playoffs. I will stick my neck out and say that because the rest of their season will be much tougher than this week. This is probably their easiest week left of the season. 
So Houston have to pick up two wins this week. And I think they will. Last game of the week will be on Monday. It's quarter past one in the morning. It's Chengdu Hunters taking on the Seoul Dynasty. Chengdu, it's it's been a sticky old stage for Chengdu. Uh, Seoul, you never know what you're going to get with Seoul. They're kind of much like London Spitfire right now. You never know what Seoul Dynasty is going to turn up. I think they can get the win over Chengdu, but Chengdu could cause an upset here. That is your, or those are your fixtures for week four. Uh, the last day should be really interesting. There's some really close games there if the teams make it that way. If Gladiators run the run the DPS heavy comps or the Sombra comps, then they'll make that really close against Vancouver. London have the ability to make it really close against the Shock. Houston versus Toronto could be quite close. Plus Chengdu and Seoul could be quite close. So the last day this week could be really interesting. And you've got some some interesting matchups. Spitfire versus the Valiant will be interesting. Spark versus the Valiant will be interesting. Uprising versus Diffusion should also be a really close match. So you've got some really tasty matches this week. And a lot of these teams, this is for a lot of these teams, this is the last act of this stage. Next week we won't see the San Francisco shock. We won't see Vancouver. We won't see London. We won't see the Gladiators. We will see Excelsior. But most of the top teams will not be playing next week. So make the most of it while you can is what I'm saying. But that is your week four. Obviously, I touched also on the two triple two roll lock rumors. Take them with a pinch of salt because you don't know what Blizzard are planning. You don't know what Overwatch League are planning. And I really think that's an outside chance considering changing it so late in the season would really change the league. It would really, really change the league. So I think that's too big of a change to implement now. I think they have to wait until season three or the 2020 season when you can just start afresh. But I will leave it here for this week. I will be back for the results later on this week or next week, I should say. Next week. It'll be next week, won't it? It'll be Monday. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See you then. <laughs>